Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Um, we're actually pre-recording this episode for next week, which I'm excited about because now I can go through the eBay sold listings and I don't have to go a week back because this won't be posted till next week. So I'm not going to out anybody. <laughs> uh, we are here with the Mercenaut and we finally have Mikey out of hiding. Yo, I'm back and I plan to keep it this way. <laughs> and Pablo Pablo, as usual. Thank you guys Big for all being here. Let me uh, let me go ahead and roll this intro, and then we will get started. Gang, guys. All right. What do we want to jump into first? You guys have anything fun you want to show? You want to start looking at the heritage stuff, or you want to look at some eBay sales? I mean, we can warm up. Um, we, are, we, we always got shit to show, and I'm uh, you know, just. It's a whole. It's a we. We got stuff. We got stuff. <laughs> All right, Carter. Well, let me see a couple of new things that you've got. Okay. Um, we'll I'll tell you what. Sales. I would love to try to make sense of this tape here. So we have a a Pulp Fiction Letter letterbox edition. letterbox. Okay. So I asked. I I tried to ask around about this. And uh, Charles, dark nostalgic, he mentioned that this was a one per store at best uh, or just a order at least. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like special order at least. And I can't find anything on this. I can't even find a picture of this on Google. You do a Google search on Pulp Fiction Letterbox Edition. You won't find you won't find an image of this at all. That's fun. Yeah, that's at, awesome. at freaking all. Through my my um, four different editions of Pulp Fiction that I have, and none of them are that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that, that, uh, that's got to be special. Did you find it online or in the wild? It was online. And uh, I was expecting them not to not to sell it to me, and uh, we got it in a matter of days. And uh, yeah, I, I I legitimately can't make sense of this. That's fucking well. Wicked. It seems like the sense you made is going to be more like dollars. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> oh my! So yeah, uh, uh, if anything, this is go. This is getting graded somewhere somehow. Cool. I, I, I've you. got a unique Pulp Fiction also, and I, I think actually mine's a bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite sure what it is. It's one of the first tapes I ever purchased, and it is it is it is just like this is what I, I don't know. Oh, that's it's bizarre. So crinkly, it looks just like this. <laughs> oh God! I, I have no, but it's like it's not that crunchy plastic. I have I have no idea. I it's have really no weird. Idea. Is there a and it, and it kind of almost does look legitimate with this kind of backing to it, you know, with the, the FBI and all that going on. So I don't know. Maybe is it a problem? Even got a little vent hole. Like this is legitimate, like like store plastic. Um, not not. I'm sorry, factory plastic, not store crunchy plastic. So it, it's weird for me to think that this is a bootleg, except everything about it screams bootleg. <laughs> okay, so uh, who who who's seen that? Who who have you asked about that? Me? Yeah. About um, the I purchased this about a year ago. Okay. And the only person I've showed it to is uh, Cole from VHS DNA back when he and I were friends. <laughs> And what did he say about it? Uh, he says he didn't know what it was. He oh, said he didn't know if it was oh, a bootleg or if it was some sort of or what. I mean, he, he thought it was he thought it was a weird thing. Well, so, now um, we have one mystery and, I, and now and two I, mysteries. I haven't pulled it out in a, until you just showed me yours. And I was like, huh, I've got a weird Pulp Fiction. Might as well, you know. <laughs> a, a weird Pulp Fiction it. Club. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> So who knows? Yours is at least a hundred percent. Like if I had to trade, I would trade you. Uh, but who knows? Maybe there's a chance that this one's better. <laughs> I, you know what? I I'm, I'm gonna stick with Carter on this one. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I think that one though. But, there, I think but that. who knows? Maybe this is the first Pulp Fiction ever printed. 
it could have been a promotion, you know, like they have. <laughs> It could have been on like a, like a package thing, might be. Yeah, it's it probably be. one of those things that you genuinely have to open to actually know what this thing Dude, is. That's right. huge. And right. a box is massive. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. What Look year is this. that? Oh, uh, this is '86. Oh, oh that's that. so cool. Okay, so we've got GI Joe Volume Volume Six from. Uh, no, 1985. This is 1985, Ooh. so this is probably the first season of the uh, cartoon. Is that is that the first? Um, is that the volume one too? Um, no, this is volume six. So okay. this is so probably awesome. after the after the two miniseries, and then we go into like the the actual series. That's a wicked box, though. There's so much yeah, color this thing on it. is massive, and look at the freaking! I didn't know this thing had watermarks on it. It's got IVE watermarks. What? What's IVE? Um. Uh, oh, IVE. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm the, so uh, the game. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I I I can't believe I just said that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what's He's been name? gone too long. <laughs> I know. I just know. Him what off. happens when you're gone for three months? <laughs> yeah. So we got. Oh, those little yeah. gold ones. Yeah, I got a bunch of uh, big box betas oh, that are sealed with I've those watermarks. IDE, they're That's little exactly. tiny itty bitty watermarks. Yeah. I that saw... has to be some of the first IVE watermarks because IVE probably came out around then, right? Mm, yeah, the yeah. the big box betas I have are soup. They're pretty early, early 80s, and they've got those tiny. Yeah, that might be some. Yeah, it's probably some. That might be the first year of IVE. Um, I, okay. I don't know when IVE came out. I'd say now, yeah, now I got to do more research onto this, but uh, yeah, I can't believe like finding either Transformers or a GI Joe big box is just impossible. Yep, yeah, I and feel I, like the big ones you want to go for more there too. Transformers than I've seen GI Joe, that's the only that's the only one of those I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like in those you want like GI Joe or Transformers or like Thundercats, like those oh, are the your Thundercats. Those are the ones. Oh, I can go oh. off on okay. It's Thundercats. If you really want me to go on a tangent about Thundercats, I can I can withhold it. But Thundercats is probably the most important thing for anime in the Western culture. Uh, Thundercats out of everything. Yes. Thundercats. 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 Though it was not actually very popular in Japan, it is okay. entirely Japanese. And it, it was produced by the same people who who ended up creating Studio Ghibli and the writer of Evangelion. Mm. And it came out before Akira. Wow. And it came out before Dragon Ball Z. And it was wildly famous here. Okay, so Thundercats. it was okay, so it was animation art is some of the rarest and most expensive animation art you can find. For Thundercats. Thundercats, yes. Hmm. The Thundercats. I know it's 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 a, hmm. it's, a it's a mind blow. It's, but yeah, that one of the the producers literally created Studio Ghibli. It was one of the co-creators of Studio Ghibli or okay. co-producers of Studio Ghibli, and the writer is one of the writers of Evangelion, which is one of the you know largest animes. Period. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it actually had more of an impact on Western culture anime. Um, uh, for for the East than uh, probably Dragon Ball Z and Akira did. Uh, just people don't know that. <laughs> so okay, yeah. So the, like these guys that kind of changed anime, they got their feet wet with uh, uh, Thundercats. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Thundercats animation art is next to impossible to find. Heritage has only sold, I think, two two things, two Thundercat animation cells ever. Uh, yeah, I know. I've never seen Thundercats. It's extremely cells ever. rare, um, super hard to get, and and just the significance of it for anime, um, um, for for us, huge. So. You know, anyways, Thundercats is the absolute shit. Thundercats, <laughs> Thundercats, Thundercats is undervalued. Um, I just got like, I, I, 
I still don't know if I got it yet because I had to buy it off of a sketchy Japanese auction. But I got some of the coolest Thundercats um, character um, model sheets that I've ever seen. So fingers crossed that it all works out. And if it does, I mean. So I the know. model sheets, are those like what, the pencils? Um, let me see if I can just shoot you guys. It's not the pencils. So these are um, this is how the characters are supposed to look. I'm gonna I'll I'll, I'll shoot it in the um, group right now, and maybe I, I want to see that. I want to see those. Yeah, Dude, they're so cool. <laughs> so damn cool. So what year is what year was that GI Joe Carter? That was eighty five. Okay, so that makes sense. I was just I was trying to read about when um, International Video Entertainment let the IVE became IVE, but. Um, it's kind of confusing because they were part of USA Home Video, and I know I think they had different watermarks, but um, yeah. it looks like they changed to live entertainment in '88. So you're probably not going to find any of those watermarks after '88. So it's, oh def my. it's definitely super early, but mm -hmm. wow. Cool. Anyway, yeah. So on to the next I one. Sorry. Okay. So speaking of '80s cartoons and IVE watermarks, you have this gem, Betamax with. IVE watermarks on the side and the big and big white watermarks on the side. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I have one of those too. I don't remember what uh, what volume it is, but I also have one of the gems yeah. on Betamax. I, I freaking love gems. You know it, what? It's just I, great art. It's what, colorful. What it's fun. Gem? I should have. I, I should be looking for gem uh, animation cells. That's what I should what be is, doing. What, what is gem? Should, should I be looking for it? Gem was a, a TV uh, Okay. Series. I'll look for it. I'll shoot it to you. Like, I'll be cool about it. Okay, oh. cool. I appreciate it. Okay, so this was um, it, this was the same animation, same art direction as, say, G.I. Joe and Transformers, right? Mm -hmm. And it was, but it, 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 it was like, it was like a, like a, for girls, though. Yeah, it's like about, you're, 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 you like it, so. Gem and the Holograms, it was uh, 1985 <laughs> is when it came out. Yeah, so She's it was like about, a rock star, like. I tell you what, she's like it's like He Man because the the girl Jerica nobody knows that she's actually the rock star Gem. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a whole thing, and it's she like has Hannah Montana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, exactly like that. Yes, it's the it's it's free. Actually, that's really cool. That actually yeah. makes it really really cool. I, I tell you what, look look up an episode of uh, Gem and the Holograms. The music is hot. It's like eighties hot. Like you'll like, you would, you might appreciate it. I bet I would. <laughs> yeah. I had like I got a crush. Like my first crush was one of the uh was one of the holograms. So I can't believe I'd never put together the Hannah Montana ripped off gem. Yeah. Literally ripped it off. Go figure. <laughs> no, and uh G.I. Joe, if you can get any animation cells from G.I. Joe the movie or Transformers the movie, oh those sell for a fortune. Oh, absolutely. But sure. specifically that that movie. Um mm -hmm. and then they they there's a there's a huge drop in price for though though there's they still sell for good money, but huge drop in price even just in the second movie. We gotta we have is another Gemma Japanese or is it American? I tell you, it's American, but the art, I mean, but the uh, the animation style, Japan, yeah, I think it might be similar to Thundercats in that sense. Because mm -hmm. my, my understanding is no one in Japan watched Thundercats, I think that's the same exact one I have, Carter. Yeah, it just was totally it's, it's, created and influenced by Japanese culture. Yeah, the same voice actors from like say Transformers and G.I. Joe. Uh, also did gem and you can and you can see like this is uh from the TV show here so and, and it's by the same production company exactly so, you know. yeah so Sunbow Toei you know is it it's gem a, the holograms is that it yes. gem the holograms yeah yes dude this is the fruitiest thing I want to buy I, all I, it I, is I, very listen. 80s Listen, oh it is hot. I it's hot. This sweater. It's oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot. I love this so bad. Is it sold out? Is it sold out? <laughs> Dude, I even have a gem doll. I got a I got Kember. Yeah, this it's is just... a gem 3D printed ugly Christmas sweatshirt. 
I don't know. It's 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 pure gold. It's yeah. pure gold. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm buying it right now. All right, show me one more, Carter, and then we're gonna uh, look at some sold things, and then we'll then we'll have Mikey show us some. We got stuff. the we got the '80s uh, romantic classic romantic '80s comedy about last night. Oh, that's awesome! Is that first With, release? Yeah, that's we got, sick. We got the back watermarks. We got six sided tape. Got the little got the little red sticker on the side. What what year is that? This is eight. This I believe this is eighty. Okay, so the movie came out in eighty six. This is an eighty seven release. Dude, that's got to be rare. So, yeah, first print. To get yeah. First Does it have oh, the drill hole of death? That's awesome. No. <gasps> and we got a laser disc. Oh. We got a sealed laser disc. Double feature. Ah. But I tell you what, I watched this Dude, movie. That's got to be tough. Yeah. Oh, very. Very. I watched this movie, and the only likable character was Demi Moore's. That was it. <laughs> Everybody else was just like repulsive. <laughs> <laughs> but totally fell in love with Demi Moore. But everybody else sucked. Hmm. But classic, classic. 80s. Is that Rob Lowe? On the yeah, two two of the two of the prettiest people uh, of the eighties. Rob Lowe has a very punchable face. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Every time I see his face, I'm like, God, I just want to punch you in your smug teeth. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll, I'll tell you what. We got one more. We got one more. All right, one, one more. more. And uh, check this out. I don't know what to make of this one. City Blues. Blue no, City. Or Blue, Blue City. City. I have dyslexia. I have... <laughs> Blue City from, 19, from 1986. Hmm. And we got the uh, back Paramount Watermarts. With uh, with our guy uh, Jed Nelson, that's that's a classic of the Brat uh, Pack. I wish Danny Garcia were here because he he could tell you every every second of that movie. Uh, oh, is that, yeah, it's it's Bender guy, right? Who? Who? Is that who it is? <laughs> oh, is uh, the actor, the guy from uh, Breakfast Club. Yeah, which one? Is yeah, it? yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Ali Sheedy and um, Jed and Nelson, uh, right? Jed Nelson. He's, he's better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I was like, no, no, don't let me sound really dumb right now. That's who it looks like. <laughs> wasn't wasn't Ali Sheedy in this in uh, Breakfast Club too? Um. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She so was. Uh, a... She was the um, creepy girl. I think the you yeah. Know. It's a reunion. She was really hot in this movie. That's though. cool. That's cool. She was, she was really hot in this. So, dude, but, I just uh, caught the coolest gem sweatshirt. <laughs> oh my god! Now Mikey's just on this. I, I paid almost more for shipping than I did for the sweatshirt. The oh sweatshirt was thirty three bucks, and shipping was twenty eight dollars. Oh my god! I know. <laughs> I didn't realize that till like, I click go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, so let's look at some eBay sales, um, and then we're also going to look at a little bit of the Heritage Auction preview because I want people to get hyped for this auction. I'm already mm -hmm. excited. I need more people to be on my level of excitement. Biting my nails every day, checking the I'm website, excited. looking I'm excited. at it. it. It's really excited, and 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 so the the auction is going to be February seventeenth, and we've got if you if you guys want to consign, you've got till Friday for it to make it into the Heritage Building. So there's still a little bit of time. The, the item already has to be graded, either I. What is that? Friday the thirteenth, or, or or DGA, but. Yep, there's still time to consign, and yeah, so that's the year. Well, what would that be, Mikey? Friday the thirteenth? Uh, this upcoming well, Friday? No, uh, uh, February seventeenth. No, no, I mean like the, for the consignment, like your last day to send a tape in. What is? It? Oh, what is that Friday the thirteenth? Yeah, uh, the, the next Friday week would be Friday the thirteenth. Or this this month? <laughs> cool. Yeah, next Friday. Yeah, it has to be in the building by then. Oh, okay. and um, Michael Jordan's birthday. Is it? Yeah. Friday the thirteenth? No, February seventeenth is Michael Jordan's birthday. So oh, the February seventeenth. Okay. So we're having the VHS auction on the Michael Jordan year on Michael Jordan's birthday. Yes, sir. All right. Oh. So this is going to be the coolest auction ever. Have a Michael Jordan tape on that. It's day. destined. It's destined to be the coolest auction ever, though. I mean, it was already was, but I have the the come fly with me tape in there. No, it is the, the this the the auction is through the roof it is absolutely beautiful uh 270 tapes so far 
um, pot multiple potential six figure tapes. Um, the coolest tape I've ever seen is in this auction. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's get to let's get to this, and then I'll talk more about that later. All right. You better, so, have, you better have one of these guys. What is it? Oh, the Michael Jordan tape. They yeah. come to me with white watermarks. And yeah, you definitely want it with white watermarks. There's a, there's a few variants of that one. Uh, you can get it with the uh, just the square. You can get it with the normal blue, and then you can get it with like like this the CBS Fox blue, and then you can get it with the white. And you so, definitely want the white. What we about, talked a little uh, bit about. Oh, I'm sorry, Carter. Go ahead. Uh, dazzling dunks and basketball bloopers. Um, what what watermarks should those have? Uh, what what what? I have no idea. Oh, I man. No idea. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it because I'd have to dig for the tape. It's, it's be a whole thing. Never mind. So we talked a little bit about this uh, Nuki tape. And um, Nuki. I don't know. I, I, I don't think. I feel like these are uh, residual prices from the one that sold for charity. Um, mm -hmm. Right here. Which, which I really hope was paid for because it went to a great cause. But, you know, who knows? Um, eighty eighty thousand yeah. <laughs> dollars. So um, then, of course, we see. Uh, here we are, two days later. The next day, one sold for five ten, and then one sold for seven hundred, and then another the, one. But this um, one's sold, this one sold for share for charity too. It looks like benefits charity doesn't say a hundred percent. The the Nuki that sold for a hundred. There was one that came up that literally said nothing goes to charity. Yeah, I, I saw was, that. I, I saw it. that. Uh, can you click on the uh, one that sold for 80,000? Cause I just want to see if it does look how fishy it does look. Oh yeah. See this one um, that sold only 10% of the sale went to. Charity. I mean, that's still nice. I mean, it's better than most people. <laughs> yeah. No, the price of this is gonna. Let's see. This one, I think it was this one. Does not benefit charity. LOL. <laughs> hey, you got good money for it, still. So. Yeah, I hope those people are just doing that for fun, and they really don't think they're ever gonna be able to resell it for that price. Because it's just, I feel like it's. Oh, there's a first release of Dune up for auction right now. That's dope. I don't know. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. bid. I'm gonna bid on it. <laughs> well, it's four hundred eighty-five dollars. Whoops. Like, okay. I mean, <laughs> um, yeah. This is this is one you wanted me to open up, Mikey. Yeah, and see the uh, bidding history because I just want to see if like oh it's... the bidding history. How do I do that? On here we go. Wow, that Dune looks amazing. Yeah, it ends tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> Dune is a absolute. I mean that that tape is an incredible investment. Um, they're going to be doing so much with that franchise. Um, anyways, when you're yes. looking at this bidding history, what are you looking for? Well, I don't love seeing um, three <laughs> feedback. <laughs> mm. That's for sure. Um, oh, I see. Okay. So, you know when? So you have to get special permission for eBay to well not special permission you have to apply to be able to bid over fifteen thousand dollars on an item uh. so, so it does like kind of cap people out um so this person still had to call eBay, get approved and you know then make that bid it does it is a little sketchy seeing it only having three feedback but the person still had to go that extra mile to do that and, you know, even still, you know, you look at other people that have, you know, uh, 1500 feedback at eight, at eight eighty two, at um, 80,200. And, you know, so it's like, you know, there's, there looks like to be like definitely some legitimate bidders for certain. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that this was a legitimate sale. Okay, so, so, hey Mikey. So you get the special permission to bid past fifteen thousand. Now, if you flake on that, oh, what are? Do you know what the repercussions are? I think they kill you. Mm. <laughs> Just public execution. Yeah. <laughs> they sell you on eBay afterwards. <laughs> they sell you. <laughs> no, it's a. Um, I, I have no idea. I assume your your account is banned. Mm -hmm. um, my, sorry, Mikey. In my experience, real quick, I, if if the guy backs out of it, 
Uh, you can send offers to the second one, to the third bidder, and to the yes, fourth you bidder. You can right. do that, and then if those are legit, maybe they'll take it, that that mm -hmm. offer, and then that will be sweet. So still and, a chance. And whoever purchased it for that kind of money gets a tax benefit, so it's a tax write-off. So, you know, it's you know if you made a lot of money this year, it's right at the end of the year. It's kind of was the perfect. No. Yeah. But, you know, again, I, while Mikey is frozen in time, I will say, <laughs> I will say that, uh, yeah, I mean. I lost yeah. you all for a second. I'm back. You're good. Go so ahead, yeah, Pablo. So it's, no, it's, no, a, it's, it's just like donating to charity. So, you know, yeah. it's a tax benefit and all that. And, it's, and it goes to, and it, I can't remember which two charities it went to, but it, it was two that I – that I actually like. It's yeah, St. Jude's was one, and it was a humane yeah, society. Jude's, and what was the other? Hu some humane society. I forget Wisconsin Humane Society yep. or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's, there's so many charities out there that are just. <sighs> oh no. That's you, Maya. That's your fault. It's my fault. You froze him. Oh, good. Zap. Zap. All right. Now, <laughs> but you know, there are those ones I love. I, I think those are really great ones. UNICEF, another fantastic charity. I, I there, there's oh, but let, let me ask you. I wanted to ask Mikey, Mikey, do you think these Nuki tapes, if they go to Heritage or other auction sites, they're gonna benefit from this or, or they're not gonna be too valuable? What do you think? I mean, it seems like a million of them came out of the woodwork. Um, I, I, what was this tape worth before this charity auction came that out? That is a very good question. So You have a very cute background, by the way. Oh, which one? What was it? <laughs> the, oh, the, this. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you could do that. It really matches, matches all my other stuff. Oh, even cuter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. No joke, you Oh, oh no! He froze again. It's the frozen time. Oh my God! What the fuck is happening here? Yeah, uh, you know it's eighty-seven Maya and Carter. <laughs> it's just it's a common it's a kind of heavily mass-produced tape, but it shouldn't be more than uh, forty-five dollars open. This is hilarious. Um, let's see what they were selling for before. Can y'all hear me? My Wi Fi is being weird. I just switched to a different. I just switched yeah. to my phone. Yeah, yeah, cool. you're good. Yeah. yeah. Well, what was interesting in the uh, red letter media video, uh, they destroyed like all the other copies of Nuki that they had. Yeah, but they were open though. I, I think uh, I think quite a few of them were sealed, and they picked the best sealed copy. I don't see any um, brand new ones sold before that one. Um, and yeah. and it was also um, to get it signed by somebody. I'm not exactly sure who, but there was like you you um, if you read the description, you had the option to get the tape signed by. I don't know if it's the creator of Nuki or what, but you you had that op option. So it looks like they were selling um, open for like a hundred. What? Wow. That's... Um, seems like for open buying a sealed one for 500 bucks is a pretty good deal based on all this. Yeah, that I is... mean, yeah, that's true. I didn't realize they were like, uh, I mean, actually pretty rare. I think that. 80's pushing it. But I mean, if you got that tax exemption status, I mean, for it, then actually, it's. I mean, that's really not wow. a bad deal. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's awesome. I love when people do that. Um, I know when Heritage <laughs> sold the the John Madden game, a uh, hundred percent of the that was right when John Madden had just passed, uh, and a hundred percent of the proceeds of that game went to. Um, Are you guys yeah. reading this? <laughs> Nuki VHS sealed rare bathwater hard to find. Bathe yourself in the essence of Nuki. <laughs> we should Oof. all start selling our bathwater. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. Moving on. All right, let's see what else. No, I think um, we should end it here. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs>
48 hours. Good movie. I'm I'm glad to see that there is definitely still some stuff selling uh, for decent prices. I don't know why I was getting so worried. I was like, I don't know why I feel like the market is dipping, but I'm like, that isn't really true. I've just been absent. <laughs> I, bit, I bit on that exorcist. I'm like, eh, maybe I'll just throw a couple bucks. He's like, oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That exorcist what do you guys think? You think it's a good price um, on that? Not, not already sold? That, yeah. That, yeah. that was a good deal. That happened. It looks like a good price. That, that exorcist is a really hard tape. Um, it's got a... It's got the little uh, sticker at the bottom. Um, but hollow but foil again, sticker. You know, the oh. Exorcist, you know, came out way before. That's like. It looks like there's a toothpick. Hey, Mikey, That's you're breaking up. Yeah, you're breaking up really bad. Right, third, fourth release in Exorcist. I have one, but uh, I don't have one. Yeah, yeah, that thing's beautiful. Um, I have different. Oh, uh, Heritage sold one too. So, it's, uh, is that the do. Canadian release? Yeah, I think so. Okay, those are cool. I love those chunky watermarks. Mm -hmm. I don't ever trust these one. I like the thirty nine ninety five sticker and the VHS sticker. That all, they are over the the wrap. Bro, can we talk about this? Oh, that's a good movie. What is with this tag? I hate this tag. I can't. You know what? Nobody can win with me. I'm not. I'm not even gonna go there. VHS DNA does theirs, and I'm like, it's too colorful. I hate it. It's distracting. And now this one's just plain white. And I'm like, I hate this. This is boring. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I think you just have a problem with how how it's presented. Yeah, maybe that's it. It's just the paper, maybe that throws me off. It looks off. I, I yeah. really like VGAs because it's just like a little thin. I don't know. I don't like these big thick ones. I can't believe this went for that much though. The Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Yeah. Wasn't Drop Drop Deck Collectibles on Instagram? He disappeared. Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't know. He was on Instagram and then he disappeared. Is that who sold this one? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh yeah. That's sold, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that guy sold. has a lot of stuff. He he definitely is, is like uh, he has a lot of tapes. Drop drop uh, all right, I'm back. I'm back. Can y'all hear me well? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, no, drop dead's still around. He's definitely still a player. Um I don't know how much he's doing. Oh no. Dude, he dropped a bunch of cool he, he, stuff. He texts me every now and then. He's the one who actually showed me the Nuki tape. He was the first person to to, to... Was all this stuff his? That's all. That's all his. Yeah. Oh man, he just dropped a bunch yeah, of shit. It. He had the forty-year-old virgin, Shaun of the Dead. I mean, those were they went for good money. Dang, full-length screener. This is cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool as hell. That went. For that went. That went for. That looks like. That looks like the uh, around full value for that one. But the Nightmare Before Christmas, I think I would have bought that. that was, that's beautiful. Dude, uh, I just got one of these for Christmas. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say on the little label? I love that movie. Are you guys been watching Wednesday? Films. No, I, I don't like Have it. You, you don't like Wednesday? I, I watched the first two episodes and I don't like is that it. Because you relate too well. <laughs> what is it? Is that because you relate I too well? <laughs> <laughs> No, I just don't like it because she like hates her parents, and I feel like that's uh, definitely not very Wednesday. She does not her. really hate her parents. She so much teen them, like, angst. She's angsty teen. It's like Monster High meets like Twilight or something. I don't know. I just don't like it. All right. Well, I know I'm the odd one out. Everybody loves it. I'm just a stickler. Dude, these are so cool. So what is the different, these gold labels? What does that mean? It's just the higher grading. They give it a gold label. Huh. I think gold label is when, when it gets uh, 9.0 or better. And then um, if you get a, like a 7.5, you're going to get like a white label or something like that. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, makes sense. That's interesting. These all went for pretty good prices too. 
Wow. Yeah, he just dropped a bunch of cool shit. That's cool. Wow, I can't believe that went for that much. 300 bucks for fucking <laughs> no, collector's that, edition? No, that was a mistake. Whoever bought oh. that was a mistake. 100%. Yeah, the, yeah 100%. they didn't know what they were buying. Yeah. I feel like the price of these has been going up, too. Star these, Wars. Uh, second print Star Wars. Second print, third print, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. What is the first print? It's like, uh, well, I don't know. Some people debate it because there was like those library copies that came mm -hmm. out. And then there was like um, the, the ones that are like this, but they don't say digitally mastered. Like there's so many different. Uh, yeah, that's right. I just know the one that we most commonly see in the auctions that goes for like a lot of money is the one that looks just like this, but it doesn't say digitally mastered. Okay. But clearly these ones are going for pretty decent prices now too. I think when I bought mine, I only paid 300 bucks for it. And... Uh, I mean, Carter, from the comics, what do you notice on the Star Wars number one? Like, do you see a lot of demand? Like, are, are... Uh, I tell you what, I noticed that near mint, raw, ungraded copies are going for about 300 which that's, is it's pretty respectable. Yeah. What? This one went for, this one went for 980 and it says side blue seal, blue CBS Fox watermarks? Yeah. There's no pictures of it of the watermarks, but that's crazy. It went for nine eighty with blue watermarks. No way. Oh wait, let me yeah. add Mikey back here and see what he has to say about this. Mikey, are you seeing this? Yeah, yeah, that was a um, uh, an aggressive purchase. I must. Say. Yeah, like what? Uh, nine eighty. So the blue watermarks are going to be on the bottom bottom of it um yeah why would anybody pay so that much the cbs for this. Uh, uh yeah that was an aggressive price to say well it yeah. is technically rare i <laughs> it's um star wars is a rarer variant um i don't necessarily think that that should equate value all the time but you know, if you're trying to get every Star Wars, like, I mean, most Star Wars people are completionists. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to want everything you can get. So, and that variant is technically rare. It is, it's from 1990, I believe. Um, so it's, it's a late release. Um, and it's the last release till they changed boxes. So if you look at it from that sense, then... I mean, I, I can see why it has value and they are, and actually now they think about it more, I actually kind of do think it is a little bit cooler than some of its white watermark counterparts because I mean, that's how collecting is. It's about rarity. And just because something is a later release doesn't necessarily mean that it should be worth less. Um, you see that a lot in comic books um, where you see second prints and third prints selling for more money because mm, they are more rare um, for modern things. Um, so, yeah. And also was in really high grade. Um, what do you guys think I, about this I, one? I personally this is pretty cool. Mind. This is awesome. Um, yeah, this is like late release rare, and it's a screener. I think it's only in screener. I think you can only get this as a screener. Really? Right? Wow, that's cool. I, I had no idea. Go find the real movie, Mikey. There's also the, I, the movie. Because oh, okay. the only other one I, I of this I've seen uh, was that controversy one that uh, Colt VHS had that ended up that was graded IGS that um, they didn't catch as a bootleg or something like that. Mm, and, uh, oh yeah, yeah they used the, the other Chucky I've seen. Other scene of Chucky I've seen. So this seems like a um, this seems pretty cool to me. I mean, a 2005 tape. Those are rare. And I mean, this movie's hysterical. So like, <laughs> I don't know. I love Chucky. I love all the Chucky movies. I think they're super, super creative. Um, and like, I, 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 I don't know. I think that they're they're kind of. You should I, watch uh, Megan. If I you... know they're like super mainstream, but I still think they don't get the love that Chucky deserves. I think Chucky. Um, oh, that's a good price for Pokemon. That's good. But, and that one doesn't even come with a free comic book. 
Really? This is a good price for this? It doesn't come with a free comic book. Oh, did it come with three of them? I think, yeah, I think it's three of them. Oh, uh, if it came with three of them. Well, that, does it say comes with three of them, or are they saying that there's three of them? Because <laughs> they do that all the time where they, Ooh. you know, where they photograph. I think they're sealed together. Oh, yeah, look at the sticker. Actually, wait, now oh, yeah. I kind of want it. <laughs> it's a pack. It says it's a pa combo pack. It's a pack. Oh, that's dope. Volumes one, two, and three combo pack. That is kind of cool. Uh -huh. Oh, that yeah, is they're cool. They're all like sealed together. Hmm. Yeah, those, Terrible the, the photos. I usually go after are. Um, I like to go after these like really like kind of Japanese ones. Um, so they're like the Japanese Pokemon. Well, I, you know, I've never seen other ones of these. So these are the ones that I usually go after. Um, obviously, you know, the Charizard is going to always retain its value and all that kind of stuff. But be careful with Pokemon. Pokemon's very common. Um, but if this takes off, there's going to be lots of demand. It's just like Star Wars. Star Wars is common, but there's going to be lots of demand so largest media franchises of all time like star wars pokemon hello kitty uh winnie the pooh uh, mickey mouse um dragon ball z that's cool don't go in the oh, house what is this i've never even heard of this i uh, i don't know that at all uh is that full box oh i love that it is it is a full box i love that i would have been able that I love that. That's dope. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. <laughs> Media watermarks? I don't see any watermarks on it. That's what I was looking for. I don't think that's a good thing if, if you don't see because media, for sure, they have watermarks. Yeah, this is my, that's worrisome. This is my favorite Pokemon tape I got, this one. This oh, one there I they are. Favorite. Red ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very good. Oh, that looks sick there, too. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, I don't recognize the name at all, but apparently other people do. Three seventy. Hmm. That's a that's a that's crazy price for that. Pokemon. It's a nineteen seventy nine movie. I never I never heard of it. Hmm. Those Thomas the Tank engines. Let's go. Yeah, it's just one. It's oh, one fucking wow. bid. Wow! Check out that Pinocchio. <laughs> that's a really fair price. That's super rare. Preview tape, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> that is that's special. Um, I, I can't tell if it's if it's legitimate or not without seeing the sticker. Um, also, I don't know if that one would even have the sticker. Um, that's special. That's a really really great tape. Um, I don't know if the plastic looks right to me, but if that's real, that's. That person got a that person got a steal. Yeah, that plastic looks sus. I, I agree. I agree. The plastic looks sus. But honestly, I would even gamble the five hundred. In my eyes, that that should be a, that should be a multi four figure tape. That is that's really cool. Damn. Um, Disney's big if you can get something rare. I mean, there's just like people confuse. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm always one of the ones. I'm just like keep your Disney. It's fucking worthless. But that's because like ninety percent of people get the '90s ones, and they're like, oh look at these black diamond tapes I have, and I'm like literally stuff them up. Your tapes, so like, David, you, you know, David Dobrik, the yeah influencer. He recently um posted about it. VHS. You're breaking up again. Mikey, We're you're breaking up. You, oh, you're into this, Mikey. Did, did, I, did I talk out? <laughs> I, 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 I'm back. It's a little so, robot. Dobrik, the, uh, the influence made with, uh, with the dick. Uh, any better? Any? No, I'm going to mute him. <laughs> All right, let's see UHF. There's been a there's a guy that had one of these tapes up forever, and he wanted like way too much money for it. Um, and I'm glad to see that one has sold because there had been like no sold ones to compare it to. Yeah, exactly. So it was like he kind of just got to ask whatever. So I'm now glad to see that another one has sold. This kind of put the pin on what they're what people are actually paying for them. 
Um, but that's super cool. And I feel like uh, this is after. Because didn't that Weird Al movie just come out? Like, didn't he just do a movie or something? Uh, biopic. Yeah. A biopic. Yeah. Yep. So I feel like uh, that's a cool price for that. The guy I think before wanted like fifteen hundred bucks or something for it, and I was just like, "Rah, you're you're never gonna get that." <laughs> like, I was so salty, but that's a cool. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Yes. Cool. I, I just want to touch back on something about Disney because okay. uh, David Dobrik, you know, the really big influencer, posted mm -hmm. on Christmas that his mom gave him the uh, the the penis copy of Little Mermaid, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean it was open. And I mean, it was kind of funny to see because he started pulling up eBay non-sold listings of it for like, you know, $5,000, $10,000. And like, you know, I'm looking at this table. I'm like, I can, get, I can, I just found a listing of one for $60 or best offer. And, <laughs> but it's still cool seeing a, a really popular influencer, you know, even though he's promoting it wrong still promoting VHS. Mm. So, I mean, anyways, I thought that that was, you know, it, it was cool, even though he was wrong. Yeah. This is cool, too. Well, that that's that's what, the 2007? Yeah, 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 yeah this is cool. Well, that, that thing's rare. Um, I think it's been kind of hyped. I don't know, like, because uh, I know that I've seen them for sale for multiple thousands of dollars, and I just don't know who would pay that. But yeah. Like, 12 bucks, that, that doesn't sound too bad to me. Um, I mean, anything you can get that, that that's that late is really, really something special. Yeah, there's another one, um, uh, Chicken Little 2006. Dude, Chicken Little, I've seen I've seen Chicken Little sell for 12, I think that I saw one sell for 1,200 bucks one. Really? Yep, dude, Chicken Little, that's a tough one. I'm gonna buy one. Uh, I'm really excited. Oh, this one got copy. relisted, that's they've why. Got a, uh, they've got a sealed copy of Cars for that one. So I'm really excited to see what that goes for because that's you know that's the the, the king of of late tapes. But anyway, I have to step out, guys. Sorry, I have to go. I'm just gonna leave with these two. Oh, yeah. let me see. Eight attractions on the day of the goat birthday. <laughs> yeah. You guys better have one of these, or there is a couple of the Michael Jordan tapes. I don't think this is the first. There is like one before this one, but this one I think is the one where he's on the main cover that everybody wants. Mm -hmm. And you get the white watermarks. Yep. Yep. That that tape's king. That so, tape is king. Definitely with white watermarks. Uh, and then the Exorcist. This is, I think, like Carter says, it oh, can awesome. eat. Awesome. That's Canadian. Very excited. I love this movie. I mean, it's the scariest movie of all time. So I love the Canadian watermarks. <laughs> See you, Mikey, Carter, Maya. I'm going to step out, enjoy the rest of the day, and I'm going to watch. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, so let me put this back up here now. These are the last two I wanted to look at because I thought they were super cool. Okay. Um, if I can go back to where I have all of us here. There we go. So how about these? Skateboarding tapes. Field. I have no idea what that is. They're skateboarding tapes. Very cool. All right, there's Steel gotta be skateboarding tapes. Seven hundred thirteen dollars, and they both that granted they were both benefiting charity. Um, so I don't know what to think about it. It's free on the one that sold for a but uh, for you know a lot. Let's see. Um, and does it say what year it is? Alien workshop. Very bizarre. Um, right. Whoa! Look at wait—is the tape blue? It's blue and it's clear. Dude, that's wicked. Oh, that's cool. I'm jealous. It doesn't say anything else on it, though. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Small that's batch really was made cool. for the 10 year anniversary of Minefield. I have absolutely no idea what year it is. Well, oh, imagine well, if that it's the 10 year anniversary of Minefield, when did Minefield come out? No idea. No. I don't know what that is. Yeah, when Minefield came out. Then. Although, okay, but again, though, all the proceeds went to a charity, so that might be affecting the price. Did I see bit history? And you know, I don't really think it does so much on that low of a scale, because like you know, people aren't getting tax exemptions for seven hundred and thirteen dollars. Yeah, but you don't think people are just like, oh, well, it's for charity, so I'll bid a little bit more than I should, like. 
you you'd think, but I don't think so so much on the lower end like that. <laughs> on, on a really high end thing like the new like the Nuki, if that you know really did sell for that, that's kind of a different story. Um, I, I feel like the charity aspect of this one did not affect it too too much, but I could be totally wrong. Um, I don't know. I don't know a thing about the item. Super it's just cool, though. It doesn't seem expensive enough for me to think, oh, it's charity, so it should go for so much more. I mean, I knew – oh, okay, wait. This one says 2018. So Interesting. are these like some kind of uh, later production? These aren't like uh, original VHS, hmm. which is kind of cool. I love the back. Yeah, it's super cool. No, look at the uh, side. The side's sweet. It's kind of creepy. Ooh. Yeah. Are, I'm excited for the market of newly produced VHS tapes because I know people are like, oh, you don't want to buy those because they could just make more of them and this and that and the other. But like like the Deadpool tapes, those were cool as Dude, fuck. And they've been I, selling excellently. Like, Well, I talked so much shit about the Deadpool tape when I first <laughs> saw it. And nah. I so badly. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I I oh, oh I talked so much shit about that really George did. I think sent it to me. I was like, why would anyone want that? Mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. not not now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, was I wrong on that one? And and it's so cool because especially it's I love it. It's, it's limited edition. I think San Diego Comic Con release. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Um, what did it, what did it retail for at the time? Oh, I don't even know, honestly. Well, you know they what? probably sold it for fifty bucks, hundred no. bucks. Oh, and now they're selling for what three grand? What is that? Oh, that that, that I mean, that's not real. That's not, that's a um, that's a recreation thing. That's not that's a, uh, a, okay. a real license thing. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's See, cool. now I thought but... they did the second one. And, oh my god, know, these no, people are so talking. ridiculous. What the fuck? All right, let's see what they say. Are there any completed sales? Let's see. Dude, have you guys seen these? I'm obsessed with these. Oh, what, what the hell that? is it? These are X-Men action figures, and they're selling them in boxes that are VHS tapes. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> they're so fucking cool. They drew <laughs> Power so Rangers cool. or something like this, too. I'm like, I there are so many toys that are coming out right now that the boxes are VHS tapes. And I'm like, this is well, it's retro time. Here. It's retro. It is. It really People is. It. And it really does. It bring, even if you've never even it's used a VHS, like the, the, there's something about just, I mean, the, the box itself, the way you're able to display the artwork on it. It is so, so cool. And I mean, they're mini movie posters. That's that's what I think is the absolute coolest thing. And well, that's not what I think is the coolest thing about VHS. I think the coolest thing about VHS is that it literally changed history. But <laughs> the second coolest thing about it is that they are mini movie posters. And if anyone's collected movie posters, you you can collect four of them. Yeah. And then you have to roll all of the others up. So <laughs> no sold listings them. recently to even tell what they're worth. I know that the last one I saw though, the last Deadpool I saw sold for like three or four grand though. And that was yeah, that before right. yeah, I think that's we submitted. Yeah, yeah. It was because it was like it sold, and then the next day I was sending Georgia stuff in and he has one of them. And I took a picture with him. People were like, Oh, are you the one who bought it? And I'm like, I wish. I'm a poor yeah, person. The first like one that I saw for sale, I think it sold for like eight hundred dollars. And I yep. was like Ah, oh, who would ever do that? He did. He talked so much shit, I remember. <laughs> I talked so much shit about it. Oh, my God. I was so wrong. <laughs> I, oh, I'd pay 800 bucks in a second. It's so cool. You know? All right. So we got a few minutes left here, and let's touch on some of these super cool tapes. Um, oh, I can't zoom in on it. It just makes it. So how about this is super cool. Oh, I hear this thing's so rare. It is so I fucking rare. About this, but I just I, I I've heard that this thing's rare. It's, it's like it's, some kind uh, of how to uh, ride the bus tape. Taught yeah, by Ninja it's like Turtles. some silly thing, but like it's I mean it's almost non-existent. And fucking amazing. Yeah, and, and it's part of um, a special collection, I believe. It's part of um um yeah. See, it has the um gold um um. The gold hmm. thing—it's part of um, Mark Friedman collection. Mark Friedman collection. What does that mean? It's a pedigree. 
Yeah. So uh, Mark Friedman, I'm not going to do it justice. Click on it and read it. Uh, okay. But he, he was very influential for Turtles. And um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, he's, 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 he's oh, they don't—they don't have the descriptions up yet. Okay. Well, Mark Friedman, Harry has been selling his his collection for probably about six months now. Um, a lot of toys, a lot of a lot of VHS tapes now. Also, um, I think there was some original artwork. Also, not that he did, that Kevin Eastman or Lair did, um, but. Um, and I, I just I can't do I can't explain it. I'm gonna explain it wrong if I start talking about him. But That's he right. was Make extremely influential for turtles, and the promotion of them. So he's just it's really cool to have something from his collection. And this that's all super cool right. too. What is that bird? These cage? these screener copies. They've got the bird cage and then Kill Bill Volume Two. Like just the, oh, wow. I, I okay. just love the covers of them because they're just so obviously like for promotional purposes. They're super cool. Um, what else do we have? These two, I didn't even know these existed. Freddy's, Freddy's. Nightmare, the series. Yeah. How I, cool is this? Those don't go for a lot. They don't? No, because those, those show up on eBay quite a bit. And wow. I see them, and they don't go for anything. Oh, I mean, yeah, they're 90s tapes. They're cool as fuck, though. I've never seen this. This is. I feel like any uh, person who collects Nightmare on Elm Street stuff, this would be, like, wicked. Mm. And it's in great condition. But look next to it. That looks like original artwork. Yeah, there's some of these in this. I don't know why they're in the uh, VHS list. Well, there's going to be original artwork in this auction. Oh, is there? Um, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Uh, and, and some pretty cool stuff. Um, uh, I know there's going to be a, uh, I, I believe, a Rambo, a cartoon Rambo cover. Yeah, um, a uh, some Ninja uh, Turtles, too. I'm not, I'm not sure if I got it in time, but I think my, um, uh, for, for uh, um Back to the Future Three. I have I had the concept uh, artwork for the, the movie poster. I'm throwing Ooh. that. That's either going to be in this auction or the next one, but I think it's going to be in this one. Same thing with Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Um, Return of the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh, there's some really great stuff. Actually, ninety is it? Is it white? Ooh, no cool. blue. Unfortunately, this is so um, the, the Michael Jordan, um, the um, Space Jam. That's not that's not standard. Oh, that's slipcase. That's why. That's super rare. The slipcase space jam is that's super good. rare. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. I think all the big plastic clamshells came with those coins. Um, spellbound early. Um, is the back watermarks for the, um, um, for the, uh, Top Gun? I, uh, would hope so. Let's see. I would hope so too. Doesn't doesn't necessarily need to be, but oh, yeah, just, just really high grade, just really high grade, but still early, early box. So yeah. I mean, that was the transition period. So it doesn't have the barcode, out. so definitely earlier. They were coming out with the um, back watermark and the side watermark at the same time. Just back watermarks the plus, um, and then yeah, dark crystals rare. Uh, that looks like an early uh, flash dance. Awesome. Um, Hills have eyes too. For these. They live. Pulp Fiction. There's like classics. Oh, here's some more artwork uh, too. Which Teen Wolf is that? Uh, Kato. So this is the KVC. Yep. Second release. Uh, Maltese Falcon. That looks like a. Um, is that a? Uh, um. Oh, sweet! They've got Batman. I know. Yeah, I'm pumped for this one too. <laughs> I'm like, they live. Pulp Fiction. Batman. And I was like scrolling oh, through this the, the first um, time. There's the original artwork. I think for the Rambo that you just passed. Yeah, yeah. No, I think this is a G.I. Joe one. Oh, G.I. Joe. Damn. Yeah, yeah. There is Actually, a Rambo one on there, though. That's I saw even it. better. Um, Back to the Future. WrestleMania. Like, th I, there's so many cool fucking tapes. What, which, I'm um, excited to see what this goes for, too. Is that George's... Um, um, uh, uh, Scarface? Is that Scarface? I have absolutely no idea. I don't remember. I believe He's got one. Is. He sent one. That's is this a beta? I believe he promised... Uh, Offer to me and didn't. Oh yeah, yeah George. Noted. Up. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I want the full set. I want the full set. <laughs> I'm excited to see what Citizen Kane goes for because part of me's like this is dumb, is but the, the other part of me's like this is super Kane? important. Is that the first release of student, student, Citizen Kane? I have no idea. I have absolutely. Uh, no idea. 1983 probably isn't the first. Wait, wait, no, wait. 1983. And maybe I don't know. Probably not. It's probably not. There's probably a, a magnetic, but I, still, that's super early. That's cool. Um, 
Death Wish, is that gatefold? Um, I don't know. There, okay, so there's two. Case. I think there are two versions in this auction. The slipcase there and are. the gatefold. Yeah. Uh, pretty in pink. Is that black? Is that um, uh, back part marks? Yep, full back. Oh, that's dope. That's I, that's the coolest tape I've seen so far. Uh, Revenge oh, of the Nerds. That's oh, that's fucking wicked oh, too. Hey, oh, look at this Tron. What? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so that's, that's the first release Tron. Uh, I say, from yeah. VHS, I believe. Yeah, and I was just about to um, give mm. them mine. There it is. So exciting. Yeah. Are all of them signed? I'm about I think to all of them are signed. This is the Betamax version. No, wait, this is the VHS version. I'm confused. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, what is we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know which the one's coming. Movie come stunts <laughs> and the making of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Wow, that's That thing cool. is super rare. And, uh, is, it, is it a gatefold? Gatefold, yep, gatefold. Yeah, gatefold, box. gatefold. Yeah, it came I out love before. The it labels. Came out before. They put it right on the label. It's so fucking convenient. Yep. And it looks like they've got a beautiful Fright Night also. God, that is so fucking cool. Okay, so how long is this auction going for? So it starts on uh, January 30th. And if you guys want to just like go to the website, um, Heritage Auction, and then it's the 2023 February 2017 Home Entertainment Auction, VHS. But it says somewhere here, it starts on... Let's see. Um... Open for bidding around January 30th, 2020. Okay. And then but it the closed tapes, on the 17th. I don't know, they're not even showing right now. There's a, uh, a Star Wars 1983. I believe it's There's the Rocky. That, that, I mean, yeah, that, look at all this. There's Rockies, beautiful. all these Rockies, Indiana Jones. We've got the Superman WCI tape. I can't wait to see what that Rocky brings. That the Godfather. Goonies. Oh, is that first release? Of the Goonies? Yeah. Is it Silver Sticker on the bottom or is it just beautiful? Yeah, it's just beautiful, but it, so that, okay. that's gonna wrap around. Go. So yeah, well, I mean, it's gonna go for a ton. That's that's probably I don't know. That's gotta be twenty grand. That thing's beautiful. Ah, but that Godfather next to it is the absolute. I've never seen that Top Gun before. These are this is the promo one, isn't it? No, no, that's different than the promo. Kroger promo. That's that's a different type of promo. That's Kroger a promo. rarer promo. Yeah, it is. It's rarer than the just the. Well, there's I, a Pepsi promo. And this is the Kroger Pepsi promo. Uh, Jay Jay told me that he got a he got this, and I thought he was just talking about the regular one. No, this I've never I've never even seen that box before. Super rare. I've only ever That's seen one really that was cool. that was open. Um, promo sleeve. Um, I don't think there's any watermarks on it. Um, I don't know if there would be. Um, Probably not. I doubt it. I mean, it's one of those really weird things. That's really something. It's super mm. fucking cool. And look, you can save 55 cents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, but I want to talk about the Godfather that's in there. Because um, it is, it's the coolest tape I've ever seen. Um, it, it was just a little bit up from, from the uh, top gun. There we go. So this isn't just any typical Godfather. So there's the typical Godfather first release, which... I've still never seen a VHS tape of, which looks like this. This is the, these are open. And, you know, so this is the standard one. But before that, Paramount was doing a, before they started coming out with just normal sized tapes, what they came out with initially, the very, very first releases are these giant gatefolds that look like this. And they are incredibly rare, just open. And you can see, you know, the big size difference between the two. Oh, my. So That's cool. True first release of Scarface. And this is already, like, unheard of. So, like, the this existing is... It's the, it's the coolest tape I've ever held. I, 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 I've held an 82 Star Wars. I've, 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 I think it's cooler than my Scarface, which is my favorite tape that I own. It is it, that that Godfather is. I I would think the likelihood of even finding another big box um, tape just sealed is next to impossible. This is okay. So the Godfather that you were just showing us, the big the big giant box that you say is the first release. Yes. 
That's the exact same that's in the auction right now? Correct. It's just Correct. open. And an so they're, bait, they're betas. Mission. And that, I, I think it's the cool, it's it's the coolest tape I've ever held in my life. And they're, um, they're, they just come like that in beta? They don't come like that in VHS? No, that is VHS. This one says beta. They, they also have a V. They also have a beta max. So there's two. Oh, okay, okay. So that might actually just be the beta. Okay. There's a the the VHS is in is in the auction. It's just that's not it. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So that never. So th it's gonna be in the auction. It just might not be photographed yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what but, this yeah. says though. This yeah. one says. And uh... So the only other one. So there's a few movies that they did giant boxes for. Another one's Chinatown. Let me find the other one. It's. I mean, just to find any of those even open is an insane challenge. Um, but they're just. I mean, they're awesome. They're <laughs> so awesome. And it's it's the true first release of Scarface. I would start on um, uh, Godfather, which is, you know, obviously one of the greatest movies of all time. And it's just from 1979. It's just unbelievable. One of Paramount's absolute first releases. Um, my understanding is that they came out with 10 big box tapes and that was their debut. Yeah, I don't uh, think they have that one up on the website yet, but super yeah, it's probably cool. just coming back from grading because it was only just given to them less than a month ago. Um, there was given to them that and the first release of Wizard of Oz. Which is again another tape that I've only that's the only copy of that I've ever seen. Ooh, I can't uh, wait to see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unbelievable, those two. They they came into consignment together and they're just they're they're insane. Um, and then they also have the first release. They I gave I gave up my uh, <laughs> my Godfather two um, uh, double gatefold. Um, it's not a big. I don't think they ever came out with a big box version of that one. Um, but I figured it would go nicely next to the other Godfather. You know, you got to get both. So um, I'm selling my gayful Godfather too in that auction. So that hurts a little. But. <laughs> Damn. Crush. Damn. And these are all pre watermarked. So um, back in 1979, Paramount didn't have watermarks yet. So they're <laughs> so that's that's how early that these are. It's really really cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, those are just unbelievable. That's wicked. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, we're a little bit over our hour mark here. So is there anything else you guys want to add before I roll our outro? Mm -hmm. um, the Rockies insane. All three of the Rockies that are in the auction are insane. I've never seen any other big boxes for those. Um, there's uh, one other that they, those are the 82 big boxes. Drop Dead Collectibles currently has an 83 big box. Other than that, there's that's the closest of that I've ever seen. Um, there's going to be a 1983 Star Wars uh, that graded an 85 plus. That's going to be insane. Uh, there's a Terminator. Um, I, I can't. I don't know what it graded, but I, I think I, it might have graded 90. Um, it was 85 plus, but it, I, I mean, first release Terminator, insane. Um, really, this is. What what we kind of just saw right now for this auction is barely the tip of the iceberg of what's really going to be in it. Um, oh my! And, oh, uh, so right now, Jay and I are talking about adding in uh, some open tapes, also, so like video violence and and all the uh, Wizards of Gore and all that that kind of really really cool niche stuff. Um, you know, me a meta Halloween, but open, 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 not 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 sealed. That would be. That could be <laughs> That could be a one lot auction, um, but yeah. So basically, this is this is crunch time. If you've got a sealed tape that you want, well, not a sealed. If you've got a graded tape that you want auctioned, it needs to get consigned by Friday. Yeah, so, which I think by the time this episode's air, it'll be it'll be too late um, because this probably won't ooh. be up until next Saturday. So, well, but I'll make sure I to. Will, uh, I will. I'll make posts about it then. Yeah. So I'll. I'll I don't know. Can you make like a little clip of this and mm -hmm. we can just yeah. post it? So we can post it on our stories. So uh, it's a, uh, uh, yeah, all that fun stuff. Right. Anything you want to uh, say before we end, Carter? Um, I'll be doing a, a tape haul on my channel sometime this week. What's the and name of your get, channel? Uh, Mercenot. All right. On YouTube. I do primarily comics, but, uh, you know. But the bug has uh, bitten you. Know. you. Absolutely. <laughs> well, the big <laughs> comic auctions stuff. this week. The big, the big comic auctions this week for Heritage. 
All right, guys. Well, with that, we'll see you next week. Thank you.